Welcome to another Mendix Minutes. In this video, we'll talk about self-references. Recently, there was a question on the Mendix forum about an app where we have an employee entity with a reference to itself to specify the manager of each employee. Uh, it's important to note that the self-reference the manager side is the one and the employee side is the many. So each manager can have many employees. Uh, we've also put this onto a page and on this page uh, we simply have the employee entity and then we show the employee and also that employee's manager. The way that that looks in the browser <clears throat> is here's the employee name and here's the manager name. So you can see uh, that the manager can be one of, or has to be one of these employees. The way that this looks on the detail page is that we have a reference selector for the manager. So the forum question was uh, not setting up that self-reference, but how do I retrieve just the managers? And in Mendix, we can do that with an XPath, which is called, which has a clause called reversed. So we specify the self-reference and we say reversed. And then this slash indicates that that association is, is populated. In other words, that we only want to see in this grid employees who have been selected as managers for one or more other employees. And in the browser, what that looks like is that you can see, uh, let me move this out of the way. Uh, you can see that Joe Vander and Amy Anthem are specified as managers and they show up in the lower uh, data grid. If I open this up and specified, let's say Susan Adams as a manager, uh, now I would see Susan Adams down here. And finally, if I have uh, three people specified as managers, I would see three people down here. Hopefully this is helpful to you.